Australasian darters are amazing birds. Underwater spearfishes engineered by evolution to sink rather than float. They can also soar on thermals to great heights and travel long distances in search of opportunity. These are quite large birds weighing around two and a half kilos and having a wingspan between 86 and 94 centimetres. The sexes are easy to tell apart. Males have black plumage while females have white underparts. Their long elegant necks and sharp bills distinguish them from their relatives the cormorants of which four species are native to Australia. Cormorants hooked bills are adapted to grabbing their prey but darters spear theirs with a slightly open bill aided by tiny shallow barbs on the inside surface of the bill that help prevent their prey slipping off. They're even less buoyant than cormorants so they ride lower in the water. Unlike other water birds such as ducks, geese, grebes, coots and swamp hens their fur-like body feathers soak up water so they can sink with ease and swim underwater for long periods. Worldwide, four species of darters are recognised American, Oriental, African and Australasian all of which are very similar in appearance and habits. And if they look kind of prehistoric that's because darters are a very ancient lineage dating back maybe 50 million years. To put that in perspective, the earliest proto-humans only appear a mere five and a half million years ago. And so, respect. Darters are clearly a robust evolutionary outcome. Australasian darters inhabit freshwater or brackish wetlands, saltwater estuaries and sheltered harbour waters across Australia and in Papua New Guinea, Timor, New Britain, the Moluccas and the Lesser Sunda Islands. They are occasionally spotted on New Zealand's North Island and very occasionally in Tasmania. The Australasian data was first scientifically described by the great English ornithologist John Gould in 1847 and this magnificent illustration by his wife Elizabeth appeared in Gould's blockbuster seven volume Birds of Australia. Darters usually breed once a year building a large dish-shaped nest of sticks lined with leaves and reeds. Three to five pale blue eggs are laid. Both parents attend the nest and the chicks are fed first by regurgitation and later with whole fish or other prey. Darters have been recorded living up to 16 years, but that would be exceptional. I have noticed a curious thing. Old darters can become flightless by losing the skeletal structure at the end of the wing to which the primary flight feathers are attached on one or both wings. If the bird lives on a well-stocked body of water, it can live on for years provided it can clamber out of the water to some safe place to roost. I've followed the fortunes of this particular data for a long time. I first noticed she'd lost all primaries on one wing in mid-2018. More than two years later she'd lost the primaries on both wings but was still doing well. In mid-2021 there was a second flightless data on the same stretch of river. If you like this video, click the subscribe button and the bell icon and you'll be notified of new Werong Lane videos.